Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero Season 2 Part 2 Episode Number 9. Alright, the previous episode, um, we got a little bit of, not a little bit, but a significant amount of Roswell's past and like how he is connected to all of this, um, what the sanctuary is, um, how he is connected to Ekidona and a lot, lot more stuff and in the end we, uh, like we are at you know Roswell's uh, mansion uh, Elsa is there Frederica and uh, Garfield is going to go against uh, Elsa no uh, Garfield is going to go against Elsa and Frederica is going to go for Rem like to save her and take her somewhere safe and uh, Subaru the thing that he can only do here is talk with Beatrice and that's what he's going to do so yeah let's just see how like this episode goes I'm really looking forward to you know the uh, Beatrice and Subaru's interaction what actually happens there and obviously like Garfield versus Elsa is also another thing and I'm not sure if Garfield is strong enough for El Elsa or not let's just watch so yeah, yeah guys without further ado let's get started with ReZero season 2 part 2 episode number 9 all right so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go okay <laughs> good job garfield oh oh damn okay <laughs> Yeah, like Garfield has like Garfield is okay, like he'll be able to handle her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh damn. Ah, Garfield got some moves. Oh, Oh, okay. Yeah, Elsa is pretty strong, you know, like she fought against Reinhardt and ran away. <laughs> Come on, Garfield, show. Show us your, you know. Strongest damn shield. <laughs> yeah, okay, come on. Ah, uh, damn. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, this. All right, you said this before as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All this stone business, you know, like whatever is written. That's one thing that Subaru is not. Like fate, that one thing. Subaru doesn't believe in it.
yeah oh but uh like yeah she used to yeah yeah she never kind of decided but i'm guessing like saving subaru was something she did for herself you know the whole thing with uh, the contract with subaru before well you saved subaru like that's one thing you did Please to believe. Did you do, yeah. Oh no, come on, Beatrice. Oh. I, I doubt they get enough forget forgot her, like <laughs> Beatrice. Well, Ekidna wanted her to decide for herself. I think that's the reason. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm sure, like, Ekidna also wanted that. Like, that's, like, that's the reason for this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what's wrong in that? Like even if he is not that person, like like that person was something Ikidona told Beatrice for her to choose. Like that person would be yeah <laughs> oh my god go on sur <laughs> oh <laughs> okay oh my god come on yeah jumping into conclusions so oh oh my god subaru Uh, oh, that was bad. Oh. Okay. Great, what now? Oh, Frederick. Okay, Ram is here. Ram is here. <laughs> Poor Otto. <laughs> Priority. <laughs> oh no.
Okay. Okay, come on, like, yeah. Okay, hello there. What is this? Oh my god. She's here, uh, what was her name? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> he has, you know, <laughs> he has some circumstances. Come on. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Come on, look. Well, she can transform, but yeah. Yeah, the Garfield is here, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, is this a hippo? What the hell is this? Where did she get a hippo? What the hell? Rock pig? <laughs> what? That's a hippo, that's not a rock pig, whatever you call it. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's go. Come on, like, uh, Beatrice. Okay. Oh my god, what the? Ugh. Okay, that thing is back. We saw this before as well. Guilty, guilty love. Oh, this was the thing that killed them before. Like, oh, yeah, th this thing I forgot about this. Okay, now what? Like, I'm curious as to what else the trial has present. Oh, so will they also see a future? You know, the three trials, like past, present, and future. Like, what can. Oh, they're showing, yeah, an unthinkable present. Oh my god, wow, this is kind of mean, you know? <laughs> is uh, Juice also here? Oh, wow, nice, nice house. <laughs> uh, she cannot see herself. Oh, she has not realized that this is a trial. Just like Subaru, you know? Like when he did his trial. 
Yeah, Juice is here. Oh, they're going for a picnic. Um, what what is it going to say? Let's see. You don't know, like. Okay. <laughs> baka, <laughs> you baka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God, look at fortune. <laughs> oh, who is this? The other elves. It's dense, <laughs> you know, uh, because obviously, like, <laughs> wow, I like the. I think the present is. <laughs> oh my god, come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's kind of true, you know. <laughs> oh! Wow, you're dense! Juice! You need to polish up those, you know? <laughs> the skills. <laughs> oh my god hmm. Okay, she's still not like, yeah, uh, did he realize? Did she realize? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she realized. Um, what? <laughs> How do you come to that conclusion? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. This is the last time they like she sees you guys. <sighs> Archie. The bishop. Oh, Archbishop. Talking about the key Jews. Hmm. 
time you know yeah the time also doesn't exist here <laughs> okay who are you ideal present Uh, Jesus, Betelgeuse also died, didn't he? Okay, she passed it, I'm guessing. <laughs> Father. What? Is the fact that she can, you know, stand up to her past and the present, which obviously Ekidona cannot do. I'm guessing that is, you know, like making her suffer in some ways. That's why, like, she always says that I hate you, but that's not the thing. Like, she hates herself for not being able to do the same things as Emilia was able to do. I'm guessing that's just, you know. Yeah, and, and that as well, you know, like how like Emilia has been one person who has been saved by each and every one of like all almost all of the characters saved Emilia once in some way. Like Subaru, Subaru is like the majority of it, but like all, the other characters as well. And Ekidona didn't have that, I'm sure about it. Oh, wow, everyone's here. Okay, one more left, I'm guessing.
Yeah, one is still left. I think it's going to be the future. Where's Roswell? Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, who else? Let's see. What? Oh. Yeah, okay, now the third trial. We have to get up and move on our own. Okay. Mm. Yeah, she's a child. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm? Um. Why? Oh, because she's, you know, she doesn't look like an elder. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No need to concern about that. And Puck has, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, you know, completing the trials is the way to win, you know, and they're kind of like using, like buying time for her and also like stopping Rosefall from like messing the whole thing. Okay, let's see the final trial. Oh. Face the disaster yet to come. Oh, okay. That is yet to come. That means obviously the future. Like I'm really curious as to what they're going to show in the future. Like a disaster that is yet to come. So that means like is she going to see some kind of a vision which can be prevented, you know? And the trial is going to test her as to how she's going to prevent it or something like that. I don't know. Most probably. Or, you know, is she able to, like, say strong even in, like, like even watching the future, the, whatever they're going to show in the trial. I don't know. Okay. <sighs> wow. Like, like, I was expecting more, you know, conversation with Beatrice, but Subaru kind of, you know, like, was unable to, like, express himself properly, and Beatrice, like, jumped into conclusions and shut the door in front of him. Oh my god. And finding her is quite difficult, you know, like, 
it's not as if like she's going to run away and you can go like run behind her and catch catch her that doesn't like that's not something that you can do with beatrice he'll she'll just close the door and you know the whole dimension will travel someone else in the house so finding her is a pretty difficult thing yeah that's the end all right guys so that was uh, episode number nine of ReZero season two part two okay um so uh, all right let's talk about this episode first we see the little ocean with garfield and elsa uh, and like uh, as far as i can say uh, most probably garfield will be able to you know um i don't know if he'll be able to win or not but he might be able to you know stop elsa like that he can most probably do and yeah and i'm guessing like i don't know like if subaru is somehow able to uh, bring beatrice to his side and uh, i'm guessing beatrice will also come to help and beatrice is pretty strong uh, previously beatrice lost i'm i think most probably because she was like emotionally not well and like she wanted to die and all of those stuff so like that does not show her actual power i'm sure like beatrice is a lot stronger than um like like then then we saw in the previous you know when she died in that episode so yeah and um okay so that happens and then we see a little bit of beatrice and subaru talking now one thing i believe uh i think that was uh you know um intention uh, of ekidona now here's the thing like ekidona told beatrice to you know stay in the library and wait for that person and like gave her the toe which had some writings and like on like on, in the end it like was blank so here's what i think ekidona wanted beatrice to write her own future that person he also like she also said it like that because she wanted uh beatrice to choose that person like there was no person you know like there was no person like she asked beatrice to wait for that person so that she herself can choose from her, with her own decision like make decisions on her own like i i think she did this because you know we saw in the flashback how beatrice is kind of <clears throat> like dependent on ekidona and like on, on her, like on all of the other friends as well like yuzu and Roswell, she was kind of dependent on them. Like uh, whatever, like Ekidona told her to do, she did. And like she, like obviously, like she is a spirit. She is like that's why, like she listened to the orders that Ekidona gave her, and like things that like she told her to do. <clears throat> so yeah, now to stop this, to stop this, I think Ekidona gave her this task of like sitting in the library and waiting for that person that fated person apparently which who did not exist so like by that i'm sure like ekidona wanted beatrice to <coughs> choose that person herself but beatrice being beatrice was like like waiting for that person for 400 years and like now now that subaru has arrived um, I'm sure like uh, she eventually and like in, uh, almost and at the end will be able to you know choose that person by her own will <clears throat> so this will kind of make you know Ekidona's real intention fulfill like this will fulfill Ekidona's real intention and uh, yeah I think but like the way she kind of did it was like a little bit you know time consuming like obviously like for these kind of things you need to you know like realize these kind of stuff from you like within from within yourself like you yourself need to realize this so if like ekidona told uh like beatrice to like like in plain words if ekidona told her to like okay like i and i won't be able like to give you any orders from here on onwards and no one will give you any orders you should decide for yourself if she said something like that that will also be kind of be an order you know like just think about it like that would also be an order like she's ordering beatrice to think for herself 
so i don't know i i just you know i think it like that like in that way so i think that's why like eki do not told her to just sit and wait unless and until she herself gets up and starts walking for herself i don't know this is just how i interpret the whole situation and um like i like i think like obviously like ekidona is not evil like ekidona is kind of a neutral character and i'm sure like ekidona loved beatrice and like <clears throat> yeah so obviously like it's something that she did so that beatrice can start making decisions for herself but unfortunately beatrice took 400 years to realize that she she still still doesn't realize that but she's gradually realizing it i'm sure about it i'm sure like subaru understood like what actually ekidona wanted to do she he also said you know uh, like in this episode that uh uh like you like decide for yourself like just like that and now another thing here is like when beatrice says that are you that person so will you be that person for me subaru said that no like are you like what are you saying i'm not that person now people might you know kind of like say that why did subaru say that you know like why did she say he could have said that yeah i was that person and everything would have been fine actually no it wouldn't the main problem would have still you know been there if he said that yeah i was that person now like listen like listen like uh, in this well, like uh, like position if subaru says something like yeah i am that person it's also something like it will become something like uh, like yeah eki do not told her to wait for that person like you know like beatrice is not like judging for herself like she is letting the decision on like uh, put like uh, kind of transferring the decision to subaru so the actual thing that ekidona wanted was that for beatrice to make decision on her own that still doesn't happen because like beatrice is asking subaru that are you that person like she herself is not making the decision if subaru says that yes i am that person it would have been like subaru said like it would have been subaru's decision not beatrice's decision so i think that was the reason why subaru said that no i am not that person and like beatrice jumped into conclusions and like threw him out, out of the room like i'm sure like subaru want like said that because he wanted beatrice to like make a decision if beatrice says that yeah you are that person like that is like correct that is the answer that like uh, that is behind like you know uh, like ekidona's orders like the things that ekidona told beatrice to wait for the best person that would have been the answer of that so yeah i think like subaru did it correctly like uh, i'm sure like a lot of people will like kind of say that why didn't subaru you know uh, say that yeah like i am that person the main problem would have still you know been there if he said something like that and like subaru wants the best for beatrice he wants beatrice to make decisions for herself so that's why he, like he said something like that anyways this how i you know i i interpret this whole situation and i think like subaru did it like the thing that subaru did was correct yeah and then we get the portion with uh, fredrika petra and um, all of them and maylee comes in <laughs> like i don't know what to think about maylee like she um uh, i don't know like i'm kind of neutral on her like <laughs> like i don't know if she like anyways like i'll judge her later on you know after like we barely know me like uh, like we just saw her in i think two episodes and like uh, in the previous episode one of the episodes was when we did not know that maylee was this evil person so yeah <laughs> anyways um that and like i always think you know like maybe like uh, like everyone like no one is born bad so like even elsa she must have had some kind of a bad past for her to you know kind of uh, like become an assassin and like all of these kind of things so like do all of these kind of things like and it's same thing with maybe maybe so yeah anyways <laughs> that happens and then like rem is safe and subaru takes rem 
like runs away and like like um, Otto takes uh, Petra and runs away and Frederica is going to fight with Meili and her Ma Beast and like uh, Garfield is already fighting with Elsa so okay I think no more problem will happen like if they are able to you know stand their ground Frederica and Garfield like there are no, like there's no more enemies like these two were the only enemies here so, so most probably Subaru would be safe like yeah that's one thing I always think you know like it's and I like obviously like I really hope like uh, Frederica and Garfield are also safe you know because if something happens to them <sighs> back to the start again you know start you know go to your load screen and start loading your save game that will happen again and I really don't want that to happen because this is one of the you know perfect like uh, like gameplay <laughs> i'm talking as if this is a video game anyways uh, like this is a perfect you know uh, way like super is doing this and no problem has happened like everything is going perfectly fine so yeah i hope that nothing bad happens now all right and then we uh, see emilia's the third trial which obviously like uh like we kind of knew that this will be a lot easier these two trials will be a lot easier than the previous trial like emilia was able to stand up to her past and that's the main like main thing like she was able to do and so now the present and the future like obviously like she's strong now so she can uh, like easily you know kind of like stand up against that yeah and then we see like uh you know like uh fortuna and Jews and them having a picnic and all and like Archie came and tried to you know <laughs> like say that yeah Emilia like this is the perfect world why don't you stay here but like that was a trial but obviously like Emilia has like stood up to more you know more difficult things more difficult situations so this won't you know, like uh, like this won't affect her so, yeah she was able to you know Say that no i'm fine in my own world and then comes um ekidona now here's the thing i said this before but i think like ekidona like seeing um emilia how she is able to you know stand up against all of these disadvantages situation all of these sad situations and how she is able to stand up against her past her present and eventually her future as well uh I think you know uh, Ekidona f feels bad like she says that I hate you stuff like those at least I think like I think she is you know kind of thinking that um, like she like Emilia has been able to do all of these kind of things so why am I not able I, I, I don't know I actually don't know why you know uh, Ekidona kind of reacted like this but I think at least I think like uh, obviously like Ekidona doesn't hate Emilia she just feels envious of her i think so maybe i'm not sure but like the way she talked with amelia kind of shows like you know she was kind of crying and everything which is really like what can i say really rare like he do not crying i cannot you know picture that but we saw this in this uh, episode so yeah Mm, I'm not sure I, I at least I think that it must be something related to her own you know her own complexes that she saw Emilia was able to you know uh, complete it so easily stand against it so easily so I think like that made her kind of like frustrated I don't know let's just wait for it I'm sure like they'll give us the answers yeah and <clears throat> then we see like Emilia uh, okay here's another thing like she was always saying you know like i like they look like like you know when they was comparing fortuna to her like her eyes and all of those kind of things and um then like she jumps into the water and she says that ah like look like i'm nothing like similar to fortuna like yeah and uh this thing you know like what can i say like a similar thing happened previously like not with Emilia but Subaru when like Subaru's mom said that uh, like you don't have to become your father like 
half of you is like half of you is um, like me like my, your mom and your dad and the half of you you become yourself like be yourself in like in a sh like short like in short and simple be yourself that's the thing that her, like Subaru's mom said I think Emilia also realized the same thing because you know like another thing I'm sure like that Ekidona kind of feels frustrated about is the way so many people are helping Emilia and Emilia also realized that you know like Emilia has been helped by so many people each and every one of them in some way you know Ram, uh, Ram, um, uh, Roswell as well you know Roswell and uh, who else like uh, Park, Park has been the like one of the most like the person who has helped her the most then comes Subaru and uh, then who else like everyone like each and every character has in some way helped Emilia Fortuna, G Juice, Archie so she has been saved by all of these people in so many ways and she realized that in the like you know in the end and then she realized that how like you know they were kind of comparing Fortuna to herself Fortuna is nothing like that Fortuna was the person who you know stood up to each and everything and she like helped others no it was not the other way around no one helped fortuna so then she jumps in and she sees her you know reflection in the pond like in the lake water body and she says that ah i'm nothing like fortuna in that way and also in the other way you know how everyone is helping her but like fortuna was not in the same place like fortuna was the person who helped others so i'm sure she made a decision now that okay like I am definitely not like Fortuna, I am me, but I can, you know, help others now, like I have that power now, I have that capability now, I have been able to stand against, like, in front of my past, so in that way, like, she will now try to become like Fortuna, she is not Fortuna, she is definitely, like, they do not, they are not similar at all, and like, in the way they live their lives, so now she is going to, you know, make some effort into becoming that person that Fortuna is, that the one person that she admired. So like that's why I think she said in the end that I like I'm I do not look like Fortuna at all. She doesn't even look like her and she it isn't like you know she didn't even like live the life that Fortuna lived. So yeah like she has been helped by so many people. She never like helped anyone as far as I can remember. Yeah. Like she was only helped by others. So yeah, like she'll like you know try to change now. She herself will help others now. She will become you know the support the Subaru needs. So yeah, and then we see like the little bit of like you know uh, Ruzu and all of them like together and them talking with her and they say that we'll wait for you. Like no need to worry. And then we see a little bit of them fighting Puck and uh, Ram uh, Ram versus Roswell. I'm sure we'll see more of that later in the f upcoming episodes and then like phase like then in the like third from the final trial uh, it is says like it says that face the disaster that is yet to come now, I'm quite curious about this like I thought maybe they're going to show the future you know how the future could have happened you know maybe like uh, Emily is all grown up and maybe like you know Subaru is there with him with her and like all of her friends are there with her something like that i thought it turns out maybe that's not the case like they're saying that face the disaster that is yet to come maybe they'll show some kind of a future event that's going to happen happen or something or some kind of imaginary future event which obviously emilia has to like become strong enough to handle in the trial who knows this will just have to wait you know from the next episode i'm sure that in the next episode we'll see uh the future what it's going to come so yeah yeah that was it that was this episode um a good episode i have to say like it kind of showed us uh a lot of things and like the whole emilia situation beatrice situation subaru and all so yeah uh so yeah guys that's it uh, and that's also another thing like i want to say like um one thing i have always thought about is like how you know in all this like anime we see like the main character or like always have someone like the main love interest or whatever you call them uh, both of them try you know kind of like help each other try to do stuff together like they are like helping each other but each other but emilia was the person here 
who needed the most help all of these like you know times so she was not able to you know push subaru help subaru which was done by rem in the first episode and otto in the second uh, in the first season and otto in the second season otto and ekidona in the second season so i think that is why you know people like there's this whole thing with like usually people who see season one kind of like hate emilia because of that like i think that is the reason you know because emilia was only like sitting like she needed help like she was unable to help subaru in so like in any way but rem like you know fulfill that uh, thing and like i have to say like 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 subaru whatever subaru becomes in the future like the foundation was you know built up by rem like she is the one who was there with him when like when he needed it the most like rem's that like what episode number 18 that one episode rem made subaru in that episode the thing that we're seeing now is rem rem helped him in such a big way and that is also the reason why like subaru is so affectionate towards rem because of that so yeah like i think that is the reason why this whole thing with like emilia like rem fact like uh, like <laughs> like why people kind of get mad at like i love emilia scene like because of that because emilia like did not contribute much in the first season but in this season i can see like the potential that emilia has i'm sure like you know she will de- do some like amazing stuff in the future like episodes and i'm like waiting for that i'm waiting for emilia's character development we already saw subaru's, subaru's character development Emilia's character development we have to like wait for it so yeah guys so anyways uh, I'll stop this video now I've been talking for quite a while so thank you guys for watching so this was episode number uh, 9 of V0 season, uh, season 2 part 2 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share I'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um, I'll be back with another episode of V0 season 2 part 2 next week same time so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.